Vaya lagazos le mete. Va de lado. Despejo, de, para despejar la, la marcha. Ah, pero aquí se ve mucho mejor que en el anterior. ¿eh? Quiero saber lo que le pasó. Llegué tarde. Si no hubiera tenido esos problemas, llegaría a... Están todos los motores encendidos, madre mía. Entonces, Starship Starship will then separate from the Joder, no me sale ahora el nombre. X no tiene la separación de calidades. Te las come. Como te llegue, te las come. Madre mía. Oh, qué bonita la imagen. Hostia. Van todos a full, ¿eh? Engine power continues to look y no destrozó nada, ¿no? Raptor engines. We're about to shut down the first stage and perform staging. Let's watch and listen. And acquisition of Houston, Signal, Houston, and New Orleans. Booster engine cut off. Hostia, como, como chufla, cabrón. Madre mía, mi mo. Separation. Uja, uja. Lo consiguieron separar. Pero mira el otro. Separa los dos páginas, dos pantallas. Lo consiguieron separar. Bomba. ¡Ey, el otro! Our ship is still underway with ship all avionics, six. Power and telemetry nominal. And we just heard there, ship avionics, power and telemetry nominal. All six engines are lit, as you can see from the bueno. at the bottom right hand side of your screen. Pero la SN sigue volando. Now we did know that the uh, <laughs> that hot staging was going to be incredibly dynamic. We knew that there was a chance that the booster would not survive, but we're going to take that data and figure out how we can make the booster better for the next hot stage. Consiguió que volara. Wow, increíble. But ship is still going strong. And it's doing y sigue subiendo. Right now, the ship, the second stage, is uh, on its way. As like we said, you can see all six of its engines are ignited. No una imagen tan cercana de él. The next major milestone for the ship uh, will be the shutdown of those engines, or SECO, second engine cutoff, which if you follow our Falcon 9 launches, familiar terminology there, So far, today has been incredibly successful, even with the rud of the Super Heavy booster. This is amazing. 
primary objective of the booster today to get to hot staging, to get ship on its way to orbit. It did that admirably. Vaya yeah, puta locura, macho. Trajectory nominal. All right, great news there. That trajectory, trajectory for ship is nominal. Once again, Starship second Ay, no stage, firing those engines. And as you just heard, everything's looking good. Por lo Now, antes de tiempo, eh. We uh, wanted it to survive hot staging, which, as you can see there by that little dot on your screen, it did. Uh, we also want to uh, basically demonstrate that the successful startup of that uh, of those engines. Estoy teniendo otro mío ahora. Por culpa de esto y por culpa de que el ordenador está funcionando ya. Um, and eventually orbital insertion. Creo que no hay ningún fallo. Hoping to basically send this around the Earth, and if it makes it this far, splash down in the Pacific Ocean, um, a couple hundred miles north of Hawaii. Qué puta locura. Now, if we get that far, like all of that sounds great. Secondary objectives for ship, again, continuing to gather engine data and about its health, performance. Now, my um, chamber pressures. Great news there. That tells us that the chamber pressures inside of the Starship, again, that's that small dot on your screen, the, basically the propellant um, pressures in the ship are looking good. Yeah, the bottom right corner of your screen, you can see Uh, essentially a, a user interface showing us which engines are lit. So the three center sea level Raptor engines on ship are gimbling engines. The three outer engines no tiene la cama de seguimiento automático, are Raptor eh. vacuum engines. All of them continuing to file, fire nominally. So cama de seguimiento automático. We expect to try to get uh, into our target trajectory today. Yeah. And we're not targeting orbit today. We're targeting almost orbit today. Um, that's very intentional as part of the well, mission. Design. Esa the goal en el medio. Is to get to a thrust profile similar to what we would need for orbit, Ooh. but also and to get to the energy levels Houston. that the ship would need to dissipate for re-entry. And so we're actually going in a suborbital trajectory today, but that trajectory will get us to the energy levels that we need at re-entry, where we can really stress that heat shield and get valuable data on re-entry. And those calls that we are still on a nominal trajectory here and seeing nominal pressures means that we have a really good shot of hitting our target orbit. Yeah. Now, if the booster had survived, uh, we would be uh, around the time where it would be uh, getting ready to land, performing its uh, re-entry, but it unfortunately did not survive. Uh, that being said, that's okay. It survived several Can seconds after uh, hot staging, so we're going to take that data and improve the hot staging sequence and okay. improve the hardware itself. Que no se ve. Uh. Se nos va. Explotó. Explotó. Se cargó. Se vio ahí, eh. se vio ahí perfectamente. Wow, qué puta locura, macho. Qué locura. They're standing by for a call out. Oh, está funcionando. Ah, sí, explotó, explotó. Además, dejaron la cámara, la se paró ahí. Una cámara no le venía mal. Qué puta pasada, chaval. Qué puta locura. As you can tell by the excitement from the crowd here at Mission Control Center in Hawthorne. Bueno, bueno. Pues se quedan separarlo. Vale, voy a quitarlo. Buah. Bueno, chicos, pues sí, el internet. Tengo que hacer un test de velocidad. A 15, ahora 15. Le meto un. Se ajusta a la. Eh, aquí. 16. Pero bueno, la prueba nos valió, ¿no? La prueba nos valió. Así que, chicos, esta tarde a ver si vuelvo, vale. Si vuelvo con todo.
Venga, nos vemos. Que voy a descargar todas las naturalizaciones que me hacen falta. ¡Hasta luego! ¡Uy! ¡Hemos vuelto!